to another episode of the iBook Guy. Um, it is my job to show you cool things that you can do with your Mac, and I have something really unusual and interesting for you today. I want to show you this little guy. It's a USB dongle that you can buy on eBay for about $15. It comes with this little antenna here. So, the purpose of these is for watching television. But these aren't designed for American television standard, they're actually designed for uh, European, I believe. Uh, but we're not going to use them for watching television. There is something else you can do with them, which uh, I'm going to show you. Okay, so just plug in this thing and go online and download a program called GQRX. This is a software-defined radio. You can type in any frequency you want to listen to. Let's try listening to FM radio. A popular station in the Dallas area is Mix 102.9. It comes in quite clearly. Selection exclusively at Kroger. 102.9 now. Only one station. But what about some less obvious things? How about CB radio channel 19? I can tune my scanner to 27.185 megahertz and hit the transmit button. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What about using a GMRS or amateur radio? I can key in a frequency on my radio and put in the same frequency on my scanner and talk away. This is a test of the iBook Guy broadcasting system. Thank you for listening. What if I want to listen to NOAA weather radio? Highs in the mid-70s. Cell phones 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north. I can also listen to the Arlington Police Dispatch. Okay, FD Squad 2 just drove off. Here's one you might not have thought of. What does my Chevy key fob sound like? What about my Nissan key fob? Notice that it transmits on two frequencies at the same time. Here are some other thoughts of things you can listen to. The fire department, airplanes, marine VHF, and business radios. So yeah, there are an um, endless number of things that you can listen to with this. And one of the things that you'll find out when you start just kind of randomly looking through the radio spectrum is you will be amazed at how many frequencies are actually in use all the time, all around you. And I mean, you can't see it, you can't hear it, you don't even typically have devices that can receive it, but the airwaves are actually quite crowded. Uh, most of the signals are digital signals, so you're just gonna hear weird noises and stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of analog stuff out there you can listen to. So anyway, I hope that you might find some kind of uh, useful entertainment out of this device. I mean, it's $15. Uh, it's about the cost of uh, getting a pizza, so it's not uh, not a whole lot to spend. I would point out, when you go to buy one of these, uh, just look on eBay and type in, like, SDR for Software Defined Radio. You're most likely going to find some of these things already being advertised for that purpose, so you'll know you're getting the right one. And, of course, it goes without saying, uh, these things work on Windows computers as well. Um, in fact, uh, it was hard for me to find some software to show you that works on the Mac. So uh, if you've got a Windows machine, you actually uh, have even a wider selection of different software that you can use uh, for your software to find radio. And if you liked the episode, please go ahead and click like. That's how I know I'm doing a good job. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, see you later.